And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, good evening, everyone. It's been a beautiful day today. Right now, we're sitting at 71 here in Lafayette. Clouds, we're, we're mostly cloudy right now, but we still do have a couple of peaks at the sun. Feels like 71. Dew point is creeping up. We're at about 61, and wind is nice and light at about 3 miles an hour, and that's why we've got those air quality alerts. Across the rest of the area, we've gotten down to 65 in Crawfordsville and Newmarket, 69 in Covington, 70 in Attica, 75 in Monticello, uh, 72 in Logansport, 73 in Rochester. So we're right in the upper 60s to lower 70s viewing area wide. Now, looking at the hour by hour tonight, we're expected to be at 71 by midnight with a couple of those high clouds. And we're going to get down to about 62 tonight by 6 a.m with more of those high clouds, but the clouds are going to kind of subside with time and winds are going to be pretty light, mostly from the south at around four miles an hour. Now tomorrow, we're going to start off the day at 63 by 7 a.m. Winds are going to be very light around two miles an hour, switching to the northwest. Uh, and then we're going to get all the way up to 90 tomorrow. So if you're going to, if you're thinking about going to the pool tomorrow afternoon, It'd be a good time to do that. Uh, winds are going to be, they're going to pick up as that system approaches. We will get a brief period of sun followed by a buildup of clouds. Now that storm system out near Nebraska and South Dakota is still churning off and how this plays out as it advances closer to us tomorrow is going to determine how it's going to play out uh, when it gets here. So. Looking at Futurecast, we see that system start to approach off from the west. And as it does, it's going to deteriorate some because we are in the overnight hours and the nighttime air is becoming more stable than the daytime air. Now, if these storms strengthen in Iowa, this could lead to a system that's stronger when it passes through here, which could stabilize our atmosphere and prevent the second round behind this from being as bad as it might otherwise be. Now, if this doesn't uh, become stronger, then that air could become, uh, could stay uh, unstable, and then that could impact the storms later on in the day. But then there's the third option. It strengthens. It comes through early in the morning. We get a lull period in between the two, which makes the atmosphere unstable one more time before those storms pass through on Sunday. Now this is for late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. There is a marginal risk for severe weather in our uh, western counties and this is just for wind. We're not looking at a risk for hail or tornadoes at this point. And then on Sunday we've got just the tail the southeast part of our viewing area in that marginal risk. And we get a couple of chances at storms. Sunday into Monday, we get some uh, a chance of storms that'll still impact us on Tuesday. Wednesday, we dry out some, and then we got just a train of storms coming in from a high pressure over the plains for the remainder of the week. And we need that because we're in drought conditions across the entire viewing area. But Saturday, Sunday, 90 degrees both days, storms possible. Monday, 78 with some scattered storms. 77 Tuesday, we dry out on Wednesday at 81. 84 Thursday, some isolated showers and then some more showers in the 10 day forecast. 